What up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to the Tip Trick series, the series where I teach you a new trick. And today we're still back at the basics with just a how to stop without a break on rollerblades. As always, we're gonna start off with my recommendations. Uh, the first one is gonna be, I recommend that you wear protective gear. I mean the whole kit, but at least a helmet. I also recommend that you know the basics of rollerblading, by that I mean how to get up and how to just roll around. It'd also help if you're confident in balancing on your skates and in particular balancing on one foot and rolling around on one foot. And that's it for my recommendations, but as always, the most important thing is that you feel comfortable. Uh, the more comfortable you feel, the more likely you're gonna learn something new. Now before I teach you any stops, I'm gonna teach you what I think is more important than any stop, and that is controlling your speed. Most stops and roll lanes become pretty ineffective after a student's speed. Uh, so you need to be able to slow yourself down uh, to a speed where these stops work in the first place. And the way we're gonna control our speed is by doing something which I call a carve. What the carve is, is essentially a swerve, or an S shape, I guess, a continuous S shape, where you just go side to side to side to side. And each one of the turns you make is where you cut off speed, is where you lose speed energy. Once you master this, you can really control how much speed you lose through each turn. Now, whenever I'm going down a nice wide hill or something, where I know I need to keep my speed quite controlled so that I can stop if I need to, I always do this carve. I'll just swerve the whole way down just so I don't get out of control and I can always stop when I need to. It does involve some more advanced skating techniques where you are pushing on the edges of your wheels. So before we get to that, I want us to focus on it a bit differently. I want you to think of it as extending the path you're taking. Uh, so say I'm going full speed. If I just take a straight line, uh, then there's not much time for me to lose that speed energy that I have. Uh, so if instead I do a nice S shape and really extend that path in the same amount of space, uh, then I have a lot more travel time to lose that speed. That extra time rolling will slow you down. So to learn this, we're gonna start by just doing that. Put up a little bit of speed and then just do some swerves and feel how it can slow you down. Once you're confident with doing that, then you can try and move to the more advanced part of this, which is where you use your edges to slow you down. And what you wanna do here is on each corner, you wanna push your outside foot out as you turn and you wanna lean in. And as you push that foot out on the edge, it'll slow you down dramatically. And the more tighter you turn, the more speed you'll lose. Keep practicing this and you'll be in control of the speed you're going in no time. So now that you can control your speed, uh, let's move on to the first stop we're gonna learn, which is the infamous T-stop. Now, despite the name of this trick being a T-stop, I think a much better name for it would be the L-stop, because your feet are not in a T position, it's in an L position. So before we even try it, we're just gonna get the position down. Uh, what I want you to do is have your dominant foot be the one that's rolling. So have your dominant foot just facing straight forward and have it under your body. And now your non-dominant foot, I want you to put behind you in an L shape Think of it like a box. Uh, you don't want to have that back foot right up behind your other foot because you'll be very unstable and you'll be able to spin. You want to have it quite far back, but not too far back. There'll be a comfortable limit there. The reason you don't want to actually put your feet in a T shape is uh, that'll really put you prone to spinning out. As you put your foot behind your other foot, it's going to spin you around that way. It's happened to me a few times, which is funny. <laughs> so it's definitely, you want to be in an L shape. Now you want to have pretty much all your weight on your dominant foot there. Your other foot should just be floating there. So now that you're comfortable and you know the position to be in, we're gonna try just do a T-stop at a very slow speed. So just push yourself, get rolling at a very slow speed, pick that foot up and place it behind you in that position. And if you're going slow enough, you should just stop. Now do that a few times, get comfortable with that, and then add a little bit more speed. And this time, uh, try drag that back foot a little bit. So you really don't wanna put much weight on that dragging foot at all. Just like lightly put it there and slowly add pressure. Let it slide, keeping all your weight on your dominant foot. So you're just rolling on one foot and that back foot's just dragging there. You don't want to put your weight on that back foot because that will spin you out. As you start to drag that foot, you still want to be facing forward. Keep your shoulders facing forward and look forward. Now just keep practicing it, adding more and more speed and in no time at all, you'll be doing the T-stop. T-stop is my go-to stop. It's very useful for just skating around the city where you don't have much space to do any other stop. Uh, and it really can give you some more control over your speed. Uh, the best thing about it is it has very little wind up. You can get into a T-stop in a little amount of time and a little amount of space. The only downside to the T-stop is it will wear your wheels out quite a lot. So it is important to learn this on both feet. Now I'm very bad at this. I hardly ever do this on my opposite foot. I'm terrible at it, but it's a very good thing to learn. Once you're confident on one foot, go back and learn it on the other foot. 
and being able to do it with both feet and alternating as much as you can will really help the wear of your wheels. If you really don't want to wear your wheels though, there is one other stop that is very useful and that is called the pizza. Now this was my go-to for years now, especially as an aggressive skater who couldn't afford to get new wheels. But I tend to not do it now just because it feels very awkward and out of control and the T-stop just feels a lot more controlled to me. But that being said, it is a very useful stop to just have just in case. So I'll talk you through the basics right now. Essentially what the stop is, is uh, stepping to slow you down to stop. Looks like this. When you're doing this, you're stepping with your toes pointing inwards and you're absorbing all that impact and speed with each step slowly slowing you down. I would recommend learning this one after the T-stop because I think this one is a bit more advanced than the T-stop. It might be a bit harder for a beginner to pick up. You're trying to absorb all the speed with each step uh, and you point your toes inwards and you roll a little bit each time, but you're pushing outwards and you kind of cushioning the speed with each step. Now your wheels shouldn't be sliding, they should just still be rolling. Uh, you absorb all the impact with your knees with each step. So to learn it, just try it slow and slowly add speed until you get confident in it. Uh, you should eventually see how you can absorb the impact and speed with each step, eventually. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've learned how to control your speed and maybe a couple stops. If you want to see more tutorials like this, you should subscribe because I'm trying to make as many as I can. And if you want to support the series, you can hit that join button or the become a member link in the description and I really appreciate it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Huge shout out to my patrons, Acosta Blades, Adam, Kevin, Chris, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Joel, Lake Brothers Blading, Mark, Matt, Mike, Nathaniel, Sean, Skids Grind Plates, Sweet Moves, Targi, The Aggressive Chef, The Book of Grinds, and Tice, and I'll see everyone later on. Peace out.